is Dr. Nkosa Zanadlamini Zuma while she was still Foreign Affairs Minister. She shared her experience working with the ambassador. It is said that Ambassador Kumalo has departed from our midst and our deep condolences to his wife and to his children and family. Yes, I did know him very well, especially when he was our ambassador to the UN. But of course, even before then, uh, Ambassador Kumalo had played a very important role in our struggle. When he left into exile, he spent a lot of time in the US ensuring that um, the Americans understand the nature of apartheid, but also uh, campaigning for sanctions, talking to councils, talking to Congress people, and making sure that um, those who are doing business with South Africa are persuaded to stop and to disinvest from South Africa or disinvest from those companies that are uh, doing um, business with South Africa. So he was a key player in sanctions for against South Africa. Then when we came back, of course, he went to foreign affairs. And in 1999, he was appointed as our ambassador to the UN. And I think he's probably the longest serving ambassador to the UN uh, to date in South Africa, because he was there for a full 10 years. And as the first ambassador, he had to put South Africa family on the agenda of the UN, <coughs> which he did very well. But we must also remember that the agenda of the UN entails many other uh, activities. For instance, at some stage, uh, South Africa was chairing the non-aligned movement. Mm -hmm. And of course, he was key um, during that period. We chaired uh, Group 77 in China. He was key to that. Even for the Kimberley process, he was key in making sure that the UN uh, accepts the certification of diamonds through the Kimberley process. But as our ambassador, we will also recall that he was our ambassador when South Africa uh, took its seat at the UN Security Council for the first time. And he played a critical role during that time. He really will be remembered not only in South Africa, but across the globe as a, a diplomat par excellence who had very good negotiating skills, who also had very good interpersonal skills, which allowed him to talk across countries, across groups, and uh, made sure that South Africa was indeed uh, accepted through the, through the global community. But you'll also remember that when South Africa hosted some of the major uh, conferences of the UN, he was instrumental in ensuring that South Africa is able to get the bids to host mm -hmm. those uh, UN conferences and to ensure that they succeed. Minister Ambassador Kumalo played an important role to ensure that South Africa uh, takes its rightful place in terms of being a non-permanent member for the first time of the Security Council. Can you take us through the work behind the scenes and what he had to deal with? Well, <coughs> Ambassador Kumalo understood not only South Africa's position, he understood the SADC positions and the African positions. So he had to ensure that he puts the positions that will uh, look at our own sovereignty, but regional and continental views. And I wouldn't say that he did anything wrong uh, on Zimbabwe. Uh, 
Zimbabwe was a SADC country, and SADC was really putting positions on Zimbabwe, and he had to ensure that those positions find expression uh, in the UN. And so, and I don't think he, we, we would put that criticism on him that he did something wrong. No, I wouldn't. The Iraq question, how did he handle that? Yes, indeed, uh, at the time, though we were not at the Security Council itself, but we were very active at the UN, and he was, of course, our representative. And our view was firmly against the invasion of Iraq because there was no evidence of uh, weapons of mass destruction. But secondly, also, if you will recall, we said that if Iraq is, implode, is, is invaded, it will implode. And I think we were right as a country and that it will implode, and indeed it imploded. Even today, it hasn't settled down. Um, so he played his part, and it was difficult because there was a lot of pressure to accept the invasion, but he stood his ground because he understood that he was there representing his country and the interest of his country, his views of his country, but also um, to try and represent things as we see them, not as we are pressured to see them. And I think history has shown that he was right, South Africa was right, and many countries of the world were correct that we are against the invasion. Some of his critics are saying that he was not able to deal with human rights issues at the Security Council in the UN and also at the Human Rights Commission. How will you respond to that? Ambassador Kumalo understood not only South Africa's position, he understood the SADC positions and the African positions. So he had to ensure that he puts the positions that will uh, look at our own sovereignty, but regional and continental views. And I wouldn't say that he did anything wrong uh, on Zimbabwe. Uh, Zimbabwe was a SADC country, and SADC was really putting positions on Zimbabwe, and he had to ensure that those positions find expression uh, in the UN. And so, and I don't think he, we, we would put that criticism on him that he did something wrong. No, I wouldn't.